talking about the significance of meiosis meiosis is very significant because its main thing is it's occurring in sexually reproducing reproducing cells and it is very important because if the meiosis is not there sexual reproduction doesn't happen properly so in the sexual reproduction what happens is a male gam male and female sexes are there male female uh, sex produce the female uh, male gamete and female sex produce the female gamete and when they unite together they form the zygote okay so if this has to be happen then the meiosis has to occur say for example the male is so 2n number of set of chromosomes and female is having 2n number of chromosomes okay so when they unite the daughter daughter cells should also be the whatever the progeny they will obtain progeny whatever the progeny they will obtain that also carry the same number of chromosomes okay so whatever the parents are having same number of chromosomes should be possessed by the progeny if this has to happen means there should be some reduction in the chromosome number now you understood the significance if the chromosome number reduction has not been occurred then the same number of chromosomes in the progeny is not maintained okay actually it is mainly responsible uh, meiosis is very significant because it maintains the ploidy ploidy means the number of chromosomes a organism carries the number of chromosome organism carry that is maintained among the generations okay say if the, uh, for example if this step is not there if say for example here here this whatever the meiosis is happening if it is not there what happens what happens okay in the sexual reproduction in sexual reproduction what happens the two sexes will unite together to form the zygote okay if this step is not there what will happen so 2n plus 2n it will become 4n that means the progeny is having different number of chromosome compared to the parents okay to maintain this the meiosis will occur the most significant feature of the meiosis is maintenance of ploidy most significant event or the significant uh, significant aspect of meiosis is maintenance of ploidy okay as we discussed now the first important significance of meiosis is maintenance of ploidy maintenance of ploidy okay that means it maintains because of the meiosis same number of chromosomes same number of chromosome is maintained among whom among the generations among the generation for example if your mother is carrying two n set you are also carrying the two n set and then your daughter is also carrying the two n set okay on second important most important significant of me significance of meiosis is meiosis is an important factor because it induces variation among individuals variation among the individual say for example for your parents you are having two kids but both of the kids are not same why maybe your sister or brother so you are not exactly like your brother or you are not exactly like your sister why why because because there is a variation happened during the variation happen and why it is happen it is happen because of genetic recombination okay the variation between the individual happens because of the genetic recombination during the gamete formation so gamete formation means what gamete formation is nothing but the meiosis okay gametes are formed because of the meiosis so variation variation among the individuals occurs because of the genetic recombination occurs during the gamete formation and this gamete formation occurs because of the meiosis that means the most another important significant of significance of meiosis is genetic recombination occurs in the meiosis and that because of that leads to the variation among 
individual okay this where exactly the genetic recombination occurs that we'll study when we in detail study about the meiosis so we are all different because of the meiosis say for example how we are different i'll just tell you okay say some parent a and b are there so a is mother and b is father okay in the first 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 they will be having one gamete say a and b okay and they form ab okay in the when they have the first baby say in the during the second baby what happened so your gamete formation so this is in the first baby so second baby what happens this a has become something okay a has 